Welcome to this presentation. The title of this paper, Seamless Mood Change of an Inverter-Based Microgrid. The authors are Mohammed Amin from Norwegian University of Science and Technology and Xingqiang Zhong from Illinois Institute of Technology. The presenter is uh, Mohammed Amin. Mohammed Amin is an associate professor in digital control of power electronics at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. Uh, the research activities of Mohammed Amin focus on power electronics application to power system, renewable energy integration, high voltage direct current transmission system, microgrid, smart grid, and the robust control theory for power electronic system. Uh, the outline of this presentation is as follows. First, I will briefly discuss the introduction about this work and some motivation and control requirement for having autonomous operation of the inverter-based microgrid. This is for seamless mood change of the inverter-based microgrid and some experimental verification. And finally, I will conclude this presentation. We know that power systems are going through a paradigm shift from traditional centralized generation to distributed generation. The distribution generation units are often connected to the power grid via power electronics converter. With some controllers, the distribution generator inverter can operate in the grid connected mode and also they can operate in the islanded mode and when supply power to the local load only. When the DG inverter experience an islanding condition, they need to be disconnected from the rest of the grid by tripping the circuit breaker to avoid personal injury and hazardous operation. That's how DG inverters from a microgrid and supply power to the local loads. When the grid voltage is restored here, the magnitude and the phase of the main grid voltage are different, could be different from the microgrid voltage. If the microgrid is reconnected to the main grid under such condition, it results in a high transient overcurrent. In order to achieve a seamless mode change between this microgrid motor need to be equipped with an islanding detection method. We need to have an islanding detection method and also we need to have a synchronization method to synchronize the voltage between these two. In this paper, we are presenting a method for detecting an islanding condition to detect the grid absent and also we are presenting a synchronization method there is an online synchronization method so that we can achieve a seamless connection the connection of the microgrid to the main grid and we will present uh, some experimental result in this uh, in this uh, uh, paper that covered the black start, microgrid operation, grid appearance, detection, synchronization, and all the things. So to have this operation, we need to have uh, some control challenge. We need to design the control challenge control to operate this seamless operation. Now first review how it works. Let's start this one. So we have this uh, microgrid inverter based microgrid and if you want to connect this inverter to the grid how we follow first we do some offline synchronization before turning on the PWM we do offline synchronization we usually apply PLL or other things to have this offline synchronization so when you perform this offline synchronization then we connect it to the grid so it's now in the grid connected operation. So when something happened, grid is absent, 
we need to find something to detect that the grid is absent. So we need to have an island in detection technique. And when it detects it's an islanding, then the inverter operate operate in operates in islanded mode. So initially it is operating grid connected mode and now it's operating in islanded mode. So we need to have a controller here in the DG inverter that can operate both grid connected mode and the islanded mode. And we know that in the islanded mode, since no other generation absent apart from this distributed generation unit, so the controller need to be equipped with the both voltage and the frequency regulation capability so that it can control the frequency within the desired range. And we also need to have an island in detection technique that can accurately detect without uh, making any disturbances here. And of course, the island in detection uh, uh, should be done within a reasonable time according to the standard. For example, I typically standard that uh, it needs to be detected within two seconds. So for this study, we consider this is the one of the controller. It's called the self-synchronized universal group controller. And we see that this controller have this um, initial synchronization. So before turning on the controller, PWM, uh, it has this uh, offline synchronization in it. It can synchronize when it finishes the synchronization and it can turn, up the, turn on the PWM to connect to the grid. And also we developed a anti-islanding protection system based on the uh, based on the data we have from the controller so we don't need to have any additional data so we detected we can detect the islanding condition so this is the the islanding detection circuit that we implemented and we tested this uh, anti-islanding detection for different scenario for example here the first scenario we first perform this offline synchronization and turn on the converter and it's supplying power to uh, the grid and here the this green line is the island in detection signal and we change the power reference of the inverter and we see that it can follow the power ref reference accordingly both the active power and the reactive power it can follow the reference and the system is stable and we see that uh, during the change of the power reference and the island in detection signal is zero. This means it's not uh, creating any fault island in detection signal. This is another example where we presented. We created the uh, islanding here, somewhere here. And we see that uh, after 0.65 second, it took uh, 650 millisecond to detect uh, the islanding condition. And this time second can be designed uh, based on the IP designer. So we can keep it a bit shorter or also a bit longer, depending on the requirement. But according to a standard, if we keep it within two, milli two seconds, then it's fine. So here we keep it uh, uh, 0.65 seconds. So it is within the standard. And we see that it can detect the islanding when it detected islanding and it disconnect the uh, circuit breaker, that the grid connected circuit breaker. And uh, so it's isolated now from the grid and also sub now supplying power to the local load. So we see that this is the current to the grid, it's, which is zero, but it's still we have the voltage and it's supplying power to the local loads. Here we said the local load is uh, 450 and it can send the power to the local load. And you also see that inverter producing, it's not producing, actually it's consuming some uh, uh, reactive power. Initially we said a 50 bar that it was supplying, but now it's consuming some reactive power. So now we see that we can achieve from grid connected mode to the islanded mode operation. Now we want to see how we can get the uh, uh, islanded mode to grid connected mode. So how the control could be? Let's say the converter is operating in the islanded mode now, or we can also do that. We can start the black start. So we perform the first, let's say it's from the black start and now operating in the islanded mode. So when it islanded mode operation, if the grid restored and we see that now grid is available. 
So here the grid is available, but it still we did not turn on the circuit breaker. So we want to connect uh, the microgrid to the grid. In order to connect the microgrid to the grid, we need to perform some synchronization because when the grid is restored, the voltage magnitude here and the phase of this voltage could be different the voltage of this uh, microgrid. If we connect the microgrid under such condition, then it will introduce some transient overcurrent that can be destructive for this uh, distributed generation. So we need to perform some synchronization, online synchronization. This means when we perform the synchronization, then this DG unit is still supplying power to the local load. So what we see, in addition to the control operating the grid connected mode to the islanded mode, it's uh, and the voltage and frequency regulation capability, it also needs some uh, online synchronization capability. So we are developing some uh, uh, online synchronization capability. So this is the original controller, that uh, universal troop controller that we have. And we developed the uh, online synchronization mechanism. So this is the online synchronization mechanism. We have the offline synchronization mechanism and we have this uh, online synchronization mechanism. So it's, uh, it's synchronizing with the grid voltage, uh, microgrid voltage with the grid voltage. This is an example how we perform the synchronization. Here it covers actually islanded mode operation to grid connected mode operation. And at this point, we started the synchronization. Here, you can see this is the synchronization point. And when we perform the synchronization, here, this is the, this, uh, this uh, representing the voltage error between the microgrid and the main grid. We see that there is a large magnitude voltage difference between the microgrid and the main grid. And when we start the synchronization, and we see that within some cycles, some seconds, uh, the voltage error become nearly zero. We can see it a bit zoom view here. You can see that uh, uh, this blue one is for the grid voltage and the pink one is for the microgrid voltage. And there is a big phase difference because of this phase difference and we see that there is a, a voltage difference. And when we start a synchronization here and after some cycle, we see that they synchronized both the voltage become the same, both the magnitude and the phase. So now we have this the same voltage, magnitude and the phase for both the grid and the microgrid. And we turn on the uh, circuit breaker to connect the microgrid to the main grid. And here we turned it on. And you can see here, this is the current, converter current. There is no transient current here. A zoom view of this one is shown here. And you can see when you connect it to the grid and there is no transient current. This is the current here, the green, green one. So we can uh, connect the microgrid to the main grid without any problem. So now we see that uh, the inverter operation system for the seamless operation, we can start with the initial start with the offline synchronization and the grid connected. And then the, when we have the island in detection technique and it detect that when the grid is absent, then it can operate in the uh, islanded mode. And when the grid is restored, then we can perform this uh, online synchronization and we can connect it to the grid. So it's a circle that uh, we can we can follow this. So it's a plug and play capability. It can uh, supply power to the local load and also can uh, connect also grid connected mode without turning off the converter and it can be operated from the initial start or maybe black start that we can do so what do you see that we need to have the control that can operate in the both grid connected mode and the islanded mode and also can support the grid voltage and the frequency I mean the of course the micro grid voltage and the frequency and need an anti island detection technique and an online synchronization technique. So we have all this. Now we implemented all this in the in our controller, universal group controller. 
So we have this island detection technique we implemented here and you have online synchronization and also we have this offline synchronization and this control has also a voltage and frequency regulation capability. So now we tested autonomous operation of the system. This is the same system here. Uh, we represented the equivalent uh, voltage source here that the uh, uh, programmable uh, DC voltage source that can emulate any renewable energy sources. So we tested for different operation, the black state, load connection, synchronization, reconnection, and the voltage change, power change. So we tested all these things. And this is then an example of this operation. So first we started with the black state here. This is the black state operation. And uh, when grid voltage is the reached to, to uh, the rated voltage, then we connected the load here. So this is the local load we connected. And grid is off initially and grid appeared somewhere here. When the grid appeared, then we started the synchronization. So we started the synchronization. And then after some cycle, when it finished the synchronization, and we connected to the grid here at this point. So now grid is connected. So it's now initially it was operating at the islanded operation. And then now is moved to the grid connected operation. And we also tested change of power and it was okay. And we see that this the island in detection signal is now zero. And here at this point, we lost the grid. Grid is lost. And it detected that grid is lost. When the grid is lost, then it again operating at the uh, uh, at the island at operation. So we see that it can operate it start with the black start and then grid connected and again the island at mode. So we can perform when the grid appeared, then we can also again operate as a grid connected mode. So to conclude this paper, what we see that uh, we cover some of the application, including the black start and you can see that you can transport the operation is a seamless transition between microgrid operation mode. So we integrated both the online synchronization mechanism and also islanding detection technique. And it would be a promising future technology in a real world application for an autonomous operation of this inverter based uh, generation. So if you have any question, uh, you can uh, email me here. This is my email address. And thank you for your attention.